it's my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Elizabeth Montgomery Collins. Dr. Collins graduated from SIU School of Medicine in 96 and received her Master's of Public Health from St. Louis University in 97. She completed her residency in pediatrics from Louisville and has been an assistant professor in pediatrics at Louisville St. Louis University, uh, University and is currently at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. She is a leader on the forefront of HIV transmission, tropical medicine, and travel medicine. Her work has taken her across the globe as a leader, educator, and physician. Dr. Collins is active in the advancement of medicine through leadership in national and international organizations. She is an active fellow in the American Academy of Pediatrics, serving on the Com Committee on Pediatric AIDS. She has twice been elected as an executive committee member for the Section on International Child Health and serves as a Jefferson, Jefferson Science Fellow and Senior Science Advisor to the U.S. Department of State. More recently, she has been the co-founder of Texas Children's Hospital Advocacy and Policy Center. Dr. Collins' colleagues describe her even better. Dr. Sean Hollenbeck said, I have had the pleasure of knowing Dr. Montgomery Collins since the first week of medical school. As you will see, her lifetime effort and work should be the makings of a book or movie. I doubt any of us will ever know the risks she has faced while providing for care, care to children globally. Dr. Denise Warner says, throughout Dr. Collins' career that spans decades and continents, her first priority has always been the individual children she treats in her clinics. And Dr. Shaw finally says, her level of servitude is commendable as she put her personal aspirations on hold in order to be effective in education and advanced treatment on a global level. I believe Elizabeth embodies all that SIU School of Medicine hopes to inspire of all its graduates. I proudly present the 2016 SIU School of Medicine Distinguished Alumni Award winner, Dr. Elizabeth Montgomery. It's very heavy. Careful. Thank you, Dr. Kavanaugh. Um, and thank you to the alumni board for this great honor. Um, Dean Cruz, uh, De Dr. Dean Dorsey, Assistant Dean's Department Chairs, um, Dr. Constance, Julie Robbs, um, Dr. Stephen Rabin, uh, SIU administration, faculty, and of course, the graduates. Uh, congratulations. Um, and to all of our friends and family, hello, and thank you for considering me for this prestigious award. First of all, I would like to say thank you to Julie Robbs, the Director of the Office of Alumni Affairs, for coordinating today's events and for all that her office does for alumni throughout the year. Uh, I really appreciate your hospitality and your warmth. We Salukis are very lucky to have a leader like you here. Thank you for always keeping the light on for us alumni to come back home to Springfield. I'd like to offer a special thanks to uh, Dr. Denise Goldsmith Werner, um, also from the class of 1996, who nominated me for this award. Um, Denise is the type of friend who never seems to lose track of where you are or what you're doing. Um, she always makes time for you, despite her uh, amazing clinical practice and her public health role in her community for being a wife and raising three kids. But she's also the type of friend that would probably drive all the way from Tennessee just to hear a classmate give a three-minute speech. So I thank Denise for uh, this nomination. I'd like to, other, uh, to also thank a few others for the nomination. Dr. Yuna Shah, who was mentioned, a successful dermatologist in solo practice in Barrington, Illinois. And um, Dr. Sean Hollenbeck, a colonel and a senior flight surgeon in the US Army. I think Sean deserves a, an award of his own for serving our country for 29 years and uh, completing six tours as a physician in the Middle East. I need to thank Dr. Rebecca Loomis, a family practice doctor in Brazelton, Georgia, who also deserves to be acknowledged 
for her years of service to the underserved in rural Georgia and in the country of Malawi, where I first met her on a SIU family practice rotation during my last month of medical school. It was Dr. Loomis who inspired me to pursue a master's of public health and to take a chance on the undefined world of global health, which has become my calling and my passion. I'd like to um, give a special thanks to Dr. Greg Bennett, the SIU pediatrician who inspired me during my rotations here to pursue a career, career in pediatrics. Dr. Bennett has continued to serve as a mentor to me throughout my career. And more than anyone, Dr. Bennett showed me that a busy, busy pediatrician can still make time to be a fantastic teacher and a faithful friend, a caring family member, and a darn good runner. I mention all these friendships because they exemplify the bond that develops between graduates of the SIE School of Medicine. It's really the hard times in life that forge the strongest relationships, and there's certainly no shortage of hard trials in medical school. All-nighters, tough call nights. Over the past four years, you've experienced something unique together, something stressful yet rewarding. I promise the friendships you've forged here are in the trenches of medical school will stay with you for a lifetime, and I encourage you to treasure them. Keep in touch with these folks. It, it will be wonderful to hear from an old schoolmate. And being in touch with these five extraordinary um, SIU alumni has really been touching to me and has brought back many cherished memories. I'd also like to thank my family, my mother, Dr. Eula Montgomery, who um, received her PhD from SIU, and my late father, who encouraged me to pursue my dreams, whatever they might be, which is how I ended up practicing in a specialty that does not even exist. Um, you know, I remember my own graduation here in Miss Toby, and I remember the incredulous words of my father after the ceremony was over. He said, Lib, I can't believe you're a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'd like to thank my mother uh, for believing in me, or, or, or at least being a little bit uh, less vocal in her surprise at my accomplishments. I'd also like to let my husband, Nathan, who's here, know how much I appreciate his support of me through the most recent years of my career. Traveling to Africa for work and writing abstracts and papers and serving on committees, I'll take time away from him and from our new baby, Lily. And I want them to know that I love them and I value all the sacrifices that they've made for me. But most importantly, I'd like to address the graduates finally. Congratulations. You've done it. Somehow, despite all the trials and tribulations, you've soldiered your way to the end. You're now MDs. Yay. And we are here today to celebrate that accomplishment. To this day, I feel emotional when I hear the words of the Hippocratic Oath. It reminds us that the patient always comes first, ahead of money and publications and awards, and that if we do our jobs right, we can be a force of profound goodness in the world. Over the years, I've come to appreciate my time at SIU more and more. It was this place and these teachers that built the foundations of my career. And it's this place that opened the doors for me as I started off in pediatrics and global health. Of course, I didn't know that at the time. I didn't know global health would be my path. And this faculty didn't know that either. But it didn't matter because they helped um, provide me and push me along a, the career path of my choosing enabling me to find that path myself and to go as far as I could with my skills. Now, as each of you prepare to go your separate ways in the upcoming weeks, I encourage you to do the same. Go far and come back. The world of global health has been good to me. It has presented possibilities for me that I could have never dreamed of. I've been privileged to serve as a science advisor to Secretary of State John Kerry and to help open pediatric HIV AIDS centers in Tanzania, to train healthcare workers in coordination with the ministries of health in Botswana and Lesotho and Swaziland, and to return several times to Malawi. And always, always I'm humbled to be a graduate of this institution and to have the privilege of working as a doctor with the Baylor College of Medicine International Pediatric AIDS Initiative, BIPI, which now treats about 10% of all the 3.4 million children in the world who are HIV positive. Heady stuff for a small girl from Southern Illinois. I have gone far, but I always come back. 
These days I take pride in teaching my med students back in Houston how global health experiences can be applied right here in the resource poor areas of the US. How to manage healthcare needs of immigrants and refugees. How to cope with emerging epidemics. All this seems to be an extension of my original ambition to help children in underserved areas in Southern Illinois. I hope all that you go far. I would encourage all of you to take advantage of global health opportunities if they arise. Working in other countries, particularly resource poor regions, can be a life changing experience. And when you come back, I assure you, you will have a renewed appreciation for the level of education and resources that are available here. Thank you again for this Alumni of the Year Award, SIU School of Medicine Class of 2016. Congratulations again on your commencement. Go far and come back. Thank <laughs> you.